Well, folks, I love my app because now I know where a plugin is. And what's really cool is that they actually state where exactly these plugins are. They said there's gonna be two of them up near the front. And then they said there's actually two more in the back. And there's a Starbucks right there. This place is gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. This reminds me of a city down south Orange County a little bit more. But let me show you exactly what's going on here. Look at how cool these little places are right here. They're kind of like stacked up here, like little townhomes here. Very nice. We got looks like to be the uh, front office here. So let's see exactly where these plugins are. And it's not gated, which means I can roll on in here anytime I want future resident. Ooh, they even got a lounge. I think you might have to have a key card to get in the lounge. And there is, oh, this sucks, ladies and gentlemen, but there are two more. That's what's cool about this app. So we have the EV plugin right here, which is $1 for eight hours. How awesome is that? Of course, uh, well, actually, no, if you're, uh, uh, no, what if that's not a level two? What if that's only a level one? And eh, that looks to be like a level two to me. We have, of course, my brother right over here to the left. We have a EV Volt over here to the right. That looks like a uh, two level, level two. Anywho, gives me opportunity to go do a little uh, roundabout, little dive in here while I figure out where this other two places are. Definitely nice though, they got the garages, kind of real cute little like, you know, Martha's Vineyard type looking thing. So again, I'm just gonna roll on around here, find the other uh, EV plug in here. That's what's really cool. I'm gonna actually rate this, saying that there's no gate, there's a Starbucks next to it. I'll probably charge my car, walk over to Starbucks, use their Wi-Fi and chill in there a little bit, roll some internet, and then we will be on the road later on. I was gonna go shopping at Walmart, but then I was like, hey, Chris, you forgot to return your jugs of oil that I was gonna turn into some free food. Well, not free food, but like, obviously like I bought the oil and then I returned the oil. Hey, what's up at that? Very cool. We found the other EV plug-in, baby. Very, very nice. So, hey, there's what I used to do, town car. So I'm gonna plug it in right here. Actually, you know what, I think I have to back it in. And then it's gonna be a longer walk over to Starbucks, but hey, we'll be okay. Stretching is caring. But what's not cool is this EV right here, he's not even charging and he's parking in the charging spot. That's not cool, folks. Never mind. scratch what I said about the uh, cat next to me. This one is broken. Let's see if they have a third one. Found a third one, that one doesn't work either. Let's see if we can find a fourth one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Fourth time's a charm. Now that's a truck right there, folks. That's a truck trade in the electric for the truck. Sweet. All right, let's charge this bad boy up. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that beaut of a car right there. Let's see if he wants to switch it up. That is drop dead gorgeous. That's like the movie Cruel Intentions with Ryan Phillippe. Remember that? One of my favorite times of the day, right now, dusk. The breezes are just blowing in. There's a calmness in the air. People are already home. Streets are quieter, a lot quieter. Sometimes you need that quietness, folks. Sometimes you need that quietness. So I'm heading up the hill. They finally finished this road here. I don't think there's any homes built yet, but I noticed there's people walking up here and jogging and walking their dogs. But again, the road right now is actually built. It's actually, you know, like furnished, not furnished, but oh wow, there's gonna be another road that leads up to that hill. Okay, here we go. What's going on here? They said there's model homes open, but you guys gotta see the view behind me. Hopefully it won't be too dark by the time I turn around here. And this is in the pretty much the same community where I live, so I don't wanna show too many signs. But let's go ahead and crank down this way. It's pretty much the same exact layout with the uh, architecture of the place, flags, trees. As we can see here, streets. Hey, there's the model homes right over here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look and then I wanna show you guys the view. What, oh man, there's another park right here. This is drop dead gorgeous. Wow. So let's take a quick look at this. Looks like everything is still under construction. You have a park closed right here, full court basketball. This is again right over here is where I flew the drone, remember that? This was definitely undeveloped, there was no greenery. Now they have solar panels up, electricity, little lights and all that kind of good stuff. Let's go over here real quickly. It doesn't look like there's anybody up here. So let's see if we can take a quick look at some of these beautiful model homes. Is that one house? That's absolutely amazing. 
I love it. I, I feel like I'm in Marty McFly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, okay, it says no public access right there, so I'm not gonna go over there. But let's look at this. So that's one house right here, and I gotta be careful of my tires. I don't wanna be popping my tires with nothing like that. But obviously, they got some security systems over here, so I'm not gonna like, you know, trespass or anything like that. But that reminds me of Marty McFly movie right there where his house was un construct under, under not like not built yet where he goes back in time no public access right there so we're gonna buy by the law holy cow that is gorgeous over there there is a beautiful lawn here we're definitely going to be back here and again this is right around the corner from where i live so there's going to be and i have full access to all of this with my association this is absolutely fantastic let's head over there and do a quick u-turn before Probably the good old security comes around. The There's Mr. Sleep Slot texting me because I'm telling him how beautiful this area is. I'm telling him to rent himself a house, him and his wife and kids up in here. Let's go see what's going on over here. I think we got security right there in front of us. Looks like a construction worker. Let's go see. Yeah, it looked like they were doing some late night construction. I'm not going to bother them. They're probably working. Rather not have uh, anybody uh, shoo me out of here. But definitely nice. Again, this is open. You just can't obviously go anywhere like where it says no public access, but you can walk your dog up here. You can go around here. Park says close, so you can't go there. But anyway, let me show you the view down. Probably the house is up on these hills. They're going to have ocean views. No joke, ocean views. And the ocean we're talking is probably 25 miles away, and you're going to be able to see all the way out there. Okay, there's no one up here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, make sure it's in park hazards are on let me show you this this is just too drop dead gorgeous to have to like point 50 feet out here let me show you this view so excuse the wind if it's a little bit windy but absolutely drop dead gorgeous again i don't know if that's a correct if it's 25 miles to the ocean i'm gonna have to do some google mapping but catalina would be straight out this direction here here is downtown city and there right there there is the uh, big, beautiful hills over there where the big, beautiful 10 plus million dollar mansions are. And way over there on a clear evening, I don't know where I'm looking, I think it's over that way. Right there would be San Pedro, or no, maybe that, no, that's, uh, okay, so that's where we used to live over here. My parents live over there. Catalina would be there, and the baller, baller south, Orange County is over there. And this is all undeveloped landscape here that's going to be going up again all the park and the houses are up here excuse the wind so these houses up here are going to be so sick those are going to cost a lot of money folks imagine having the corner lot right here or a middle lot right here and then you look over this way see that every day i know a lot of people would probably take it for granted but ladies and gentlemen it'd be a gorgeous gorgeous well folks there's definitely not a recession happening anywhere around this city i'll tell you what hey that's a good looking car right there how about that folks how about that if you can guess the name of the car you win a million dollars if you guess dolce vita which means the sweet life you are correct and that my friends is how you make your own jambalaya right there we're talking shrimp scallops uh something or other tomatoes corn avocado absolutely deluxe 8 56 p.m let's get into it just stop your crying it's a sign of the time Welcome to the final show Hope you're wearing your best clothes 